If you haven't already, consider becoming a Patreon. And remember, guys, for just $5, and if you DM me on Instagram, you get a shout-out in the next video. Yee! Turner here with Turner Fishing. So, if you're like me and the rest of the South, and everywhere has just been rain, 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 more rain, I had to, I had to wait for the rain to, to ease up to make this video. So, the rivers are flooded, the creeks are flooded, Water's muddy, water's stained, you got orange water on the main river, you got dingy water on the secondary creek rivers, if that's even a thing, and you've got water pushing almost all the way to the dam. That's, uh, I mean, it's stained. So, what are the top three baits? If I would go right now, what would I be throwing to get the bite? So, the number one thing that I would throw is... You won't sound like these fish they, they can see your lure but they can't see your lure if that makes sense uh, bass have a lateral line and they can detect stuff in the water much like we can close our eyes and if somebody snaps their fingers around you you can kind of pinpoint where it is and get close enough to see it so you want something that when they get close enough to see it they can see it so you've got around three options you want red black well four white and chartreuse so the first thing that i'm probably going to pick up and find fish is a square bill now my favorite square bill is either a kvd 1.5 in the red crawl pattern or this bill lewis echo now the reason i throw this one is it's really bright you know and the echo has a really really wide wobble i'm talking this this sucker kicks like that and that gives off a lot of vibration plus the noise i mean they can pick up on it pretty good and this one right here has been through a lot the bill's kind of cracked but hey it's still so the, the second bait that i would throw when the when the water like it is i mean you've got a steady increase in temperature surface temperature going up and then you got a cold front that comes in these bass are moving from their winter to the main lake point all right it heats up for a day or two they're going to go to the next point the secondary point the first one then they're going to go to the next secondary point then boom cold front they're not going to go back they're going to stay right there that, that's what bass do they're going to stay on that secondary point they might they move shallow they may move deep on, but they're going to be around that general area on that secondary point until it warms up again And then they're going to move back to the next secondary point then the next one and eventually The water will be warm enough to spawn and then it, it just goes in the reverse They spawn it's warm enough to come back and back and back They don't back up they go forward and then they come forward and back they go main lake secondary spawn main lake uh, spawn secondary main lake winter i mean that's just kind of the pattern for most general lakes i mean some lakes may have humps and some lakes may have uh, ledges and you know the general idea but right now we've got 50 degree water temp and they're probably on the secondary points i haven't been out in a week or, sh or so but last time i was out they were on the secondary points so the second bait i would be throwing a lot of people probably don't throw this enough this is a nighttime bait and that is a Shrike King Midnight Spinnerbait with a huge Colorado blade. And the cool thing about this spinnerbait is it's black. They can pick up on that black and that muddy water a lot better than most everything except like white. You could throw this in white, but I, I didn't see one that they have in white. They may have one. But the cool thing about this spinnerbait, it's got a rattle just like a jig. So, you've got the thumping of this and the rattle. Just something extra that these bass can pick up on. So, the last and final thing I'm going to throw is my favorite lure. Y'all know what it is. The worm. But not just any worm. Not just any worm. You're going to take, you're going to put your sinker on there. Then you're going to put whatever color bead you want and I got a little two-op worm hook 
with a zoom trick worm black so what that does I don't know if y'all can hear that but the way it way the way you work it your sinker is gonna go first the B is gonna hit the sinker and it's all gonna come together you got three noises off one hop so you work it really really slow you throw it on a secondary point cast it out there and you hop and when that when that sinker hits the bead's gonna hit the sinker and then when you wind your slack in the sinker and the bead is gonna go to the hook and make another noise and that's gonna be key for these bass to pick up on when they can't really see the bait so they have to have something to key in on so you've got three things going so my biggest tips for y'all Throw something loud. Chatterbait will work extremely good. A, a white chartreuse chatterbait with a Gary, Gary Yamamoto, uh, the little shad trailer. I forget his name. Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, I hope I can get you all some fish with these tips. Share this video with your friends. Hit the thumbs up over there. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do be the best fisherman channel on YouTube. Hit that red button over there. And if you'd like to help the channel out, the Patreon link's down below. It really helps me out with these tournaments and everything and putting gas in the boat and everything but as soon as i get out on the lake y'all i'm gonna make a new video for you it's probably gonna be a crappy fishing video so all the people that comment down below oh where's the crappy video they're coming we're catching them just ain't been out there filming 